It's been a few years since the Houston Texans have been a playoff team. They're usually at the bottom of the NFL since Deshaun Watson had a winning season with them in 2019. After they traded him away to the Browns, it was time for them to find a new quarterback of the future. They gave Davis Mills a shot, but he was never anything more than a game manager, and sometimes not even that. With him, the Texans had three straight seasons with a losing record. They had no choice but to pick up a QB high in the 2023 NFL Draft, this was definitely the best chance because they had two picks in the top 10. To be exact, they had the number 2 and number 6 overall picks. With their number 2 pick, they drafted quarterback CJ Stroud. Then they didn't wait until pick number 6, they traded with the Cardinals to move up to number 3 and drafted edge rusher Will Anderson. With their two picks back to back, they drafted a leader for both sides of the ball. No one knew how their picks were going to turn out, especially in their rookie season, but both have turned out to be great choices for the Texans. Now even during their losing seasons, the Texans always have had somewhat of a good defense. Their issue after Watson has always been their offense. Well, they went and proved everyone wrong. CJ Stroud has been a great rookie passer who doesn't break down under pressure. Running backs, Devin Singletary and Damian Pierce create a great one-two punch. Receiver Tank Dell was playing great who is also a rookie but got hurt and is out for the rest of the season. And Nico Collins was performing great but he recently injured his calf against the Jets. Also, Dalton Schultz has been a great tight end both in the passing game and as a blocker. He was picked up in the offseason, which it was smart. In reality, this offense is doing better than anyone could have ever predicted. But injuries are a problem. Against the Jets, their young QB, CJ Stroud, suffered a concussion late in the fourth and now is out. But then there's the defense. The Texans' defense doesn't have a lot of big names. Their strengths are in the secondary, but they don't have a lot of pass rush beyond Jonathan Greenard and Will Anderson. Even though there aren't a lot of talented players, this defense is still one of the best. The biggest reason why they do so well is because of the great coaching they get. Head coach D'Amico Ryans was the defensive coordinator for the 49ers last season. With him, the Niners were the best overall defense and had the third most takeaways. He's brought the defense of leadership to Houston and his defense this season is right in the middle of the pack in every defensive category. That's with a lot of young players and not many superstars. He's doing a great job not just with the defense but with the team as a whole. The Texans do have a pretty easy schedule left for the rest of the season. Their toughest games are going to be against the Browns and the Colts. They also face the Titans twice. Even though they're one of the worst teams this season, you can never count out a divisional rival. But no one knows if this team is healthy enough to make it to the playoffs this season and play great. Don't get me wrong, this team looks much better than the other seasons, but this is a squad that has a chance to make a deep playoff run in the future. No matter what happens this season, the Texans have done already much better than most people thought they would. Both of their first round draft picks this season look to be great picks and players who they build around for years to come. If CJ Stroud continues to develop and gets better as well as stays healthy, the Texans could be a Super Bowl contender next season. Either way, they are already already a team that many consider a threat even if they don't make the playoffs. But the Houston Texans could make a lot of noise in the future with this great coaching staff.